Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to more Xeno Gears. Well, now it's time to head off and fight the champ. Yeah, okay, Doc. You say the same crap every freaking time. So, we found the monster, avenged our fellow battlers. Not that we really cared about them because they were douchebags and tried to kill me, but we did it because Rico's actually kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. He's just he's slower in dirt. He kind of sucks. Rico's garbage. I'm not gonna use him. <laughs> just, just forget about it. He ain't getting used. Uh, I'm sure you can find a video on online where uh, he's got all his death blows shown off. Cause I'm just not gonna deal with it. He's too freaking slow. Yeah, we're gonna jump into that. <clears throat> so we just gotta do some more battling until we get to fight Rico. So think about it. Three more fights and then we fight Rico. So that'll be all this video is. Gundam battle set. Ready? Go! I know, Speedy. I got a little hype there. Alright, who are we fighting? Hot the ball. Can I get a turn here? You guys being a dirt freaking jerk? There we go, chip damage. I'll take a cheesy win. Overheat yourself, stupid. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you can't come back later in a game with this and use different gears to fight in the tournaments. So, that could be a thing later on that we might do. 1500 bucks. And 400 bucks. Fire wheel. Sit still, god dang it. Oh, he's got a, a huge machine gun. Okay, well, I'll just, I'll, you know, I'll damage myself to get the win. I don't care. Winning is winning. Where do you think you're going? Shabams! It's another one down! Let's keep it rolling. Oh, they got the end opponents set to an easy mode so that I can make sure I get through the story. Okay, but if you want to give me free money, I'm fine with that. Two thousand dollars! <laughs> and as a bonus, five hundred. Twenty-five hundred bucks. Not bad. Alright, we got one more to do today. 
Let's bow the day! Of course I'll enter. If you think I am. Yep, I'm still having a crap ton of fun with this. And today's winner is, of getting her face punched by Veltal, is Silverstar. Ow. Oh, there's a story. You couldn't have found it again. Punched. It's square XX. There we go. I found it again. I knew it was something like that. Well called angry. Well called smash. Okay, that worked. Uh, hitboxes? <laughs> Generic boss has been defeated. Yeah. So far, I'm undefeated. And for this one, we get 2,500 for just defeating that one. And we get 800 bucks. Hey, Hammer, what's up? Bro, you did it. You won. You're the battling champ. Or close enough, anyway. Victory's in reach. If you just win tomorrow's finals league, we'll have our names cleared to be released. But, Hammer, if my opponent's no pushover, his power is incredible. He's been battling champion for three years straight. The game's going to be no easy task. Up till today, I've managed to win somehow, but tomorrow's another matter. I doubt I'll win. That I will win will speak in your mouth when you talk. If that's your attitude, you'll lose even if you could have won. Come on, bro. Show some fighting spirit. <laughs> I didn't think that'd be, you'd be the type to say something like that. You're right. I'll never win with these pre-battle blues. Thanks, Hammer. Well, then let's head back to our lodgings now. I'd like to be able to say no problem, but tomorrow's finals league is important. Don't you think you should take care of servicing and customizing your gear? Our fates depend on it. Gear servicing, huh? Leaving it to just one mechanic worries me a bit. I'll ask the doc to give you a hand also. A bit of a worry. That's not so, bro. This here mechanic is doing the best he can, you know. I didn't mean it that way. So don't get all upset now, Hammer. Anyway, let's go back to our barracks and call the doc, shall we? Wait, don't you think you should save your battling record in the memory cube? I suppose I should. Fine, jeez. There is a thing coming up, but it's not that important. Alright, so we're gonna go start recording over our previous progress on the second memory card that I saved on first because I didn't realize that what I had done with the first one. <laughs> so I, had, I forgot that was the Castlevania memory card. Alright, there we go. That's why I love the PlayStation 3. Infinite amounts of memory space for PlayStation 1 games. Time for story and exposition. Away! Is that all? Yep. This is the best that can be obtained around here. You think I win with these crude parts? You have got a point. Compared to the champ's gear, the 
quality just does not match up. There's nothing we can do. Master Rico's gear is a special make of gear provided by the committee. From maintenance to parts, it receives the best of everything. As long as money's involved, the champ will go all out. There's wor that's one of the reasons he's so powerful. Can we get better parts than this? <laughs> As usual, you haven't learned anything, have you? Who's there? Long time, Fay. You're the one from the Ava tournament. What do you want? I'm busy right now. Hmph. No matter how high quality your gear may be, you won't be able to defeat him. What are you talking about? Foo. Buh. Yikes! Zoinks! You still do not understand, do you? Then let me show you. For boss time! That you can't really lose. This is story boss. Story bosses don't get deaths. Why do you suddenly want to fight for? Are you crazy or something? Enough talk! Take this! He's got like Hadoukens. He's going all Goken on me. Whoa! You're, you're serious? Of course, so put up a good fight. Because if you don't, your life is mine. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. That. Uh, that that's it. Oh, one thing I need to do is this. Speed up, or no, attack up. And then, yeah. Ooh, how much damage? Decent damage now. Okay, we need to heal. What a wimp! Stop spamming! Luckily I have plenty of EP. That's nothing. Okay, now he's going a little faster, it seems. So I need that. Okay. Dude, what the frig? That's getting a little nuts. Okay, turn up, okay. Okay, it's gonna do this twice. We're alright. Combo! Anyway, one of those, one of those. Let's see, I need to... 
Another one of those. Tag in and finish up the cigarettes. Go! for that fight. Fighting brute strength with brute strength is a sign of a great fool. It's obvious that a lighter body such as yours will always be at a disadvantage in a head-on attack. I just gave you a good example of the minor difference between you and I had this outcome. Now, someone else with a mass several times as you, like Rico, the outcome becomes highly apparent. This applies to Gears as well. Even if you were to get parts comparable to Rico's, there is still that difference in mass. To make up for this, one must commit to a single final strike to thrust at the opponent's features. Huh? I've given you the hint. It's up to you to figure it out through your experience. Wait! Why don't you have the same fighting style as I? And how do you know my name? Tell me! Huh. Fine. It was three years ago. The one who took you in your mutilated state to that mountain village was none other than myself. You're the one who brought me to Lehan? Yes. At your father's request. My father's? What's your relation to my father? Khan and I were fellow students. Khan? Is that my father's name? I guess I can, Khan, whatever. Why do you ask your father's name? You haven't lost your... Yeah. So tell me anything you can, will you? I see. In your injured state, I wouldn't have been surprised. Weisman. Khan Wong. That is your father's name. Since our youth, Khan and I studied the martial arts together. Father and you? Yes. Eventually your father became an officer of a certain country. There he met a young woman. She was about 20 years old. Her name was Karen. She was like a flower in full bloom. Flower? It means that she was extraordinarily beautiful. I see, then she's... Yes, your mother. Khan married your mother and I left on his journey to strengthen myself. Then my mother? Where's my mother now? You do not remember that either. I see. According to Khan, when you were but a child, she passed away. Oh. Time passed. During my journey, I received a letter from Khan. The letter said that his son was taken away by a man. Khan once said you had special powers. The man who wanted that power took you. That man was Graf. Graf? He took me away? You've met him? Yeah, three times. It's amazing you are still in one piece. It seemed to Graf that I still was still not powerful enough to achieve his ultimate goal. Anyway, let me hear about the story. Khan wished to go find his son. If possible, he wanted my help. I agreed to Khan's request and began searching for you. And that man. Then came that one fateful night three years ago. It was a violent storm. The storm felt as if it was thrown at us through sheer rage. That night, Khan notified me that he had located his son. So I headed for that location as if I was drawn to it. You and Khan were wounded badly. You 
no idea what had happened between you two and Graf, but then Graf had already gone. I don't know why, but probably he was driven away by Khan. Khan decided to pursue Graf and left me to care for his son. I provided you with the necessary first aid and left you in the custody of those village people. Then I followed after Khan. You probably lost your memory when you were injured. Why did my father pursue Graf? I do not even know. Just that he said it was not only for the sake of his son, but also for the sake of the world. But that man had to be disposed of. He added that if something were to happen to him, I would have to take care of the rest. I haven't seen or heard from him since. Graf said that my father was dead. Hmm. If Graf has been appearing in your presence, then that is a possibility. That is truly unfortunate. Do you remember anything about your fighting techniques? Huh? No, nothing. Hmm. Your fighting skills were probably taught to you by Khan. Khan and I both studied under the same master. That is why my techniques are similar to yours. Well then, I must be off. To where? I will go find him. We need to pinpoint what his intentions are. And also, for Khan's sake. Just tell me one thing. What country was my father an officer for? Are you going there? I don't know. There are thing, other things I have to take care of. Yes. The floating land which tries to hide behind a wall, protected as if to conceal their failure. That is Shavat. That is your father's country. Shavat. The floating land? Farewell. Foomp. Hey! <clears throat> what a mysterious person. Is this the second time you have met him? Huh? Yeah. Since that tournament Neva, he sure is a mysterious person. I probably won't understand straight away what he meant today. I don't know what Hammer just said there, but he's rambling on. What is this Ava tournament? What's going on? But I think I get the general idea. I might be able to do something in tomorrow's final round. The difference in the performance of the gear parts are not going to influence the outcome. Well, not as much as I thought before. I never underestimate the situation. You might lose pretty badly if you think you can just win by getting a grasp of the concept. I know, Doc. Well, let's return to our quarters and rest, Faye. Your fate lies in the outcome of tomorrow's com competition. You need to preserve your strength. Alright, so let's just head on out and go to do the thing. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing good. We finished up last phone. You guys ready to rock? Let's do this thing. Today's the last day of the games, the finals league. You get to challenge Ricardo Banderas. Do you desire to enter the finals league? Let me at him! There's not really anything different with this fight, other than we just go in and do what I've been doing. So, and because this is a story mission, I can't technically lose this. Rico, oh Staya, this is. That's that. Ow, dude, what the frick? Oh, somebody's a little overheated, ain't they? Oh, god damn it. Dude, you're being a freaking jerk. What the frick is this crap? 
Okay, why are my attacks not hitting him? They're just completely whiffing. What the frig is this garbage? Yeah, you overheat yourself, stupid. You freaking suck. What? Three out of five? Terrain also affects uh, how much your mech overheats and all that. It's pretty cool. Alright, we should be done with this one now. So find out next time on what we do with the championship winnings. Later guys, see ya!